Okay, guys, I've been here. Um, so today, let's try this one. Okay, so a roof, like a organic shape. Okay, so this is inside. So this um, roof structure um, and some glazing solid. Okay, so basically the pattern can be the triangular shape in pattern based family. So yeah, okay, so let's do it. So um, let's uh, create a architecture project. And uh, we're going to use pattern based family. So I think this this one's quite um, uh, simple, but uh, still uh, can be tricky. So because we and um, how we place the pattern because we want some glazing, some solid, and also we don't because when we place this pattern, so uh, the issue we will have is all the overlapping members, right? So Okay, so now let's, let's first create a modeling place mass. So uh, we're going to uh, maybe just do some uh, create uh, draw, draw some uh, splines for points. Uh, very simple one. Okay, so maybe one, two, three, right? So copy one, two, and create a form. Now let's go to three D view. So we have this. Uh, maybe we need more points. <laughs> That's fine. So let's add some points. Use uh, draw on face, place onto a uh, hand. Maybe I'll just HH the surface. So we can just place onto the line. Trying to place onto the reference line. So one, two, three. Okay. And then select select them and make point driving. So now we have more, we have four points on each uh, reference line. So now type HR to bring the surface back. So maybe give it a material so we can see it. Um, and maybe I'll just create a new material. At least it's a solid. Uh, maybe change it to shade. Ah, oh, still. Ah, oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, create a new. Okay, so maybe just use that one. Uh, everything here is fine. Okay, so now it's a, it becomes a solid. And um, yeah, if you wanted to, so you can also maybe I'll just move these points up, so to you know roughly go to a you know ceiling level, for example. And then we can just move some point this up, you know this point up, so become something like this, right? So uh, so let's. Um, Let's use divided surface, right? And then we can change this one to a pattern triangle. Um, I think we can use this one triangle flat, right? So and then we just need to adjust the um, the grid. So currently uh, it's 10, 10. So let's try 15, maybe a little bit more, 18, maybe 20. Yeah, I think that's probably enough. Uh, maybe we just reduce this a little bit because my computer is quite slow, so I just just use a bigger pattern. Okay, so now we have this is a pattern we need, right? And then we just need to go to uh, go create a new family. You have generic model uh, pattern based, okay? And then in this one, select this grid uh, tile pattern grids. And change it to the the one we just uh, choose, which is triangle flat. Okay, so now we can, so this is that um, those triangle triangular shape, right? So and then we just need to play some uh, 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 frame. Okay, so to place that uh, instead of you know trying to place point under this and create f uh, profiles, create create those. Um, members. Uh, let's create. Let's create a general model adaptive. Okay, so adaptive family. So, so we can 
very easily place uh, place this one onto those reference lines. So in this adaptive family, so place two points, make them adaptive, create a spline, make it reference line. Okay, and then place a point you draw on, draw on a face. Okay, and then place onto this reference line. And I'm going to place a reference line rectangle. Draw on word plan, set word plan. Pick this vertical word plan. Just draw something like this. So I'm going. I'm not going to make this parametric. Just to you know, roughly, uh, just make a size. I'm not sure. Uh, might be too big. Two hundred. But yeah, it's just to you know, to place it in here. So um, yeah, I'm not sure what size need to be. So maybe it's too big. So, but uh, so I'll just move. Maybe just move the oh hang on, M V move midpoint mid go up. Yeah. So I think this is it. And then C C select the point, pick new holes, and select this one two and also the path create a form and then we select this point so we can drag this to this end and select this oh uh here okay and then very important take this always vertical okay always vertical now we load this one into that uh, um, pattern based family so we can place right so we type s or oh, use draw on face S E S E tab. Okay, S E S E tab. S E S E tab. So now we have three member. And also again, tick this box. Okay, always vertical. Now load this one into the project and OK. So now let's have a look in 3D view. Select this, select and then pick this pattern based family we just did. So this might take some time, uh, depending on how you know, a big and a, um, the number of these grids. If you have a larger number, so it will take some time. So you can see. Uh, actually, I didn't show you why. Our, um, I didn't sh show you the result without those always vertical unticked because. Uh, so you can see all these members they are all vertical and then actually in the same place you can you, they are actually overlapping so you can see there are two in uh, always two so one and then if you see this so see the the color uh, it's really hard so see so this is this means uh, it's overlapping right so there are two um, two frame in the same place so um not really um, sure what's the best way to uh, to get rid of you know one. So there there are options, right? So one option is so we can always you know go select this one, change this one to um, triangle. Uh, no 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 not uh, yeah this one triangle check board. So this what this do. Um, is um, it will re remove like it will place place here place here and then remove this one uh, just yeah remove one right so I'll show you so so and also every time when you change the pattern so everything so it's got all the adaptive families gone right so you need to place it we need to place them again so that's fine it's very simple so just let's place Okay, so load this back over right, and so let's go to 3D view again. So now this time you can see there's no overlapping anymore. So one, right? And then if I tap select one, this one here. So there's nothing here. See? So this will we, um, by using the uh, what's this? Triangle check board check board by using this pattern instead of this, so we can avoid uh, having overlapping members. But but in this uh, exercise, we need this. We need to see here. We need all the glazing, right, and also all those solid panel. So if we use the checker 
bold pattern. The um, uh, let me just show you. Uh, here in here, I'm going to S A H H. So I'm going to select this right. Select these three reference lines. I'll use create form. I'll choose the solid one, um, and I'll just maybe just make uh, you know some thing. Uh, sorry, negative one nine zero zero. So make something there, right? So type hr to bring. Okay, so that's a little bit too high. So maybe I'll just type um, uh, fourteen hundred and the negative thirteen hundred. So we have something there. So and then we can just give it a material so for example glass right so now if I load this one into the the uh, project so you will see we will um, miss some so you can see all those panels so we will miss no, you know there's nothing here nothing nothing here so which means we can't really use this one oh, and also actually let me, let me just quickly add a material parameters I'll just call it MA instance so we can change the material right so load this one into the project and overwrite okay so now go to 3d view again so maybe tab select one of this so we have this material so maybe I'll just give it a different material so for example um, default roof default roof 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 default oh where is it default floor default default roof pro oh no floor go down okay default roof so okay so now so maybe I'll just type I C because uh, you you have option to ch select them multiple of them or you can ma to you know to match match uh, oh you know, match material match parameters so now this is a checkerboard so we can't have panel here 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 okay so which means um, this is not the the right one so let's go back select this one okay change this one back to the triangle flat uh, it's gone but yeah that's fine it's, it's very easy to place again so type se se tab se se tab se se tab but oh, actually in, oh, in this time instead of you know have this one the whole member uh, from this end to this end so we're going to actually uh, let me just do it again sorry delete 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 create component se okay s m okay snap middle point se uh, from here to here maybe this one should be from here to s m okay s e tab from this side s m snap midpoint so now this will be in uh, yeah the so frame half of the frame and also we just need to create a some panels right so let's just type in same again 1400 negative 1300 and tab select the whole thing right the whole panel so if you do not use tab you will pick the only one one surface but we want this one whole thing right? so, so tab and click and then we can just link this material to it now we can load this one back into the project and overwrite so um, let's go to 3d view again uh, <laughs> okay right. so now you can see we have all the panels on you know every single um, triangle triangular shape right so let me ma so you can have you know uh, have solid panel on this in the middle and have some you know some solid panel there here and there okay right um and what else oh yeah so now you can see if i zoom in so you can see all the frame so although there's lines between them 
but so half so you can see this all these will you know make half uh, uh what, um what do we say uh so yeah if i type gd turn off the show edge you will see it's perfect right so it's perfect okay so um and yeah i think this is it um ah, i'll quickly show you why we need to tick that always vertical box so let's go back here so if, if i do not tick this box load this one back and overwrite and uh you will say those frames see here so they won't match if if we do not tick uh, always vertical right because all the i think the orientation of those um like a uh, family will um it depends on the how i, I mean where this, this this these panels placed uh in you know on this divider surface okay and also if i go back further here if i if we do not take if we do not take here this one and then load if i load this one into here so you will see nah this is not right All right so so it's very important so in this one in this one in this adaptive family when you take this box and also in this pattern based box uh, sorry pattern based family we, we we also need to tick this box in order to make this work so let me just control z to go back right so this is it jd and turn the lines back so although there's line between them but uh, i think the geometry is correct right so <laughs> so yeah so this is it um if like okay so maybe i'll do this so uh, this will take my take a long time because my computer is slow uh, i will i'll change this one to 10 change one to 20 okay and also um ah oh, yeah because we didn't we didn't uh create a, a parameter for the size of these um frame frames so they will yeah become too big relative to the size of that, those panels but yeah that's fine um well we can always go back back to that uh the first adaptive family and then change that change that family and di load directly into this so i think uh I think this is this um this is probably it okay yeah so you'll see those <laughs> frame is huge relative to the size of this roof right so um yeah you can very easily so maybe just tap type i c so it's easier so you won't be able to you won't be able to pick anything else except those these panels so we can very easily you know change uh use uh, uh m a to uh, match materials right um and then let's go back here so this one oh h h just hold it and then so if you want to you can add parameters so you can change it in in this project but for this exercise i'll just uh, i'll just quickly uh change maybe uh 400 maybe <laughs> one i need i want this one to be 100 so 150 and then this one 100 okay and to the same on the other side this one let's make it 400 this one 150 and this one and 100 so now if type hr so we'll see this mass will automatically change to match these two profiles now we can just load this one so you can choose actually you can pick both both so it will update both in this family and also in the project 
and of course this will take a little bit time um, again <laughs> so yeah but after that I think it's all it should be all good okay so and this is it um, so basically quite simple first we just need to create a mass uh, modeling place mass so use some uh, spline through points and so um, I recommend create always create the surface first because so it's 100% you can create a mass use three str like straight spline through points but after you after you after you adjust uh, the points uh, sometimes uh, it won't let you you know create a surface so yeah so just make sure you create a surface first uh, oh yeah looks like okay so these panels are a little bit too far away from yeah because previously we make one meter and then in here so we yeah so that's too, a little bit too far away so that's fine so we can always so this is 400 so we can always make it 500 and mix and we can also make it a little bit thinner so 450 i can make it only uh 50 right so and then load this one into the project overwrite and that should be it okay so i think that's all uh I will upload this family for you so you can have a play um, and uh, still working st still thinking yep almost there go to the 3d view and this is it okay change material ma and yeah okay that's all thanks uh, I'll see you next time thank you bye